Hey space enthusiasts! Today we're diving into one of the moon's most intriguing mysteries, why is it so hard to find water up there? First off, water on the moon isn't what you might expect. There are no lakes or ice sheets like we have on Earth. Instead, it's often found in the form of hydroxyl, a molecule that's similar to water but not quite the same. And then there are microscopic ice grains, thin films, or tiny crystals hidden in the lunar soil, which makes detecting them from orbit a real challenge. Next up, shadows. Near the moon's poles, there are craters that never see sunlight. These are called permanently shadowed regions or PSRs. These areas are freezing cold, as low as 250 degrees Celsius, and pitch dark, making direct observation really tough. Instruments like neutron spectrometers and infrared cameras have been used to infer water's presence, but getting direct samples is rare. Then there's the problem of transient surface water. Water molecules on the moon's sunlit side don't stay put. They migrate during the lunar day, break apart from solar radiation or even escape into space. This creates a weak, dynamic water cycle making it even harder to pin down. The lunar environment itself is hostile. Without a protective atmosphere like Earth's, solar winds strike the surface directly, making it hard for water to persist. Plus, high radiation from the sun's ultraviolet rays and charged particles can destroy surface molecules, including H2O. And finally, detection technology has its limits. Instruments like infrared spectrometers struggle to distinguish between water, hydroxyl, and thermal interference. Even landers and rovers, which need to dig deep and carry sensitive equipment, face a tough time analyzing soil composition. So why does this matter? Finding and extracting lunar water is crucial for sustaining human presence on the moon, making rocket fuel, and understanding the history of water in our solar system. Recent missions have made progress. In 2020, SOFIA confirmed molecular water on the sunlit moon. NASA's Artemis program aims to explore those shadowed regions and drill for ice. Upcoming missions like Viper will prospect directly for ice near the lunar south pole. Exciting times ahead. Would you like an explanation of how future moon missions plan to harvest lunar water? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more space updates. See you next time.